All right, I just got my Barista Hustle Tamp. So I'm gonna unbox it for you, check it out, and then I'm gonna use it tomorrow, and then we'll come back and compare it to some of the other tamps I have. So let's see what's going on in here. Tubular box, pretty sick. Profile on one side, BH on the other. Light for sure. Ooh, interesting. Okay, here is the tamper. For those of you that haven't heard about it, this is a kind of an interesting concept. So this is Matt Perger's thing. Now, the tamper is all acetal, which this is kind of like that plastic material that's oftentimes in the top of other tamps. That little nub, the little knocking point or whatever some people call it. But the whole tamper is made out of that. It's got this little double flared shape in here to reduce suction. The uh, base comes off like so little tiny breeze hustle on the base the base is really thin now the idea behind this base is that if you ding it drop it knock it whatever it's easily replaceable and for not a lot of money just holding it in my hand it's a little shorter than I thought it would be it doesn't come up as much in my palm I thought it would be a little bit longer just from looking at the pictures and the profile and the shape on this piston here is really similar to the science tamp so this is is the science tamper. It's made by Nick. Can't see it as much, but it's not quite as beveled, but it still has that flare taper. Okay, here's the deal. I'm having all kinds of thoughts and feelings, but I wanna save any sort of in-depth review and compare and contrast until after I've actually used this. Tomorrow work bar, so I'm gonna bring this thing in, use it, and then we'll talk about this and see how it stacks up against all the other tampers and a little bit more about the philosophy behind this, because it is really interesting. Interesting. So if you need to get a snack or something, this is a great time to do it. And I'll be right back with the time travel through the time and space continuum. Okay, I used the tampon bar and just wanted to share with you my thoughts and then compare it to these other tampers that I have. Disclaimer, company that I own sells tamps from Pullman and I have a great working relationship with the people over at Pullman. Another disclaimer, I know Matt, so I like the stuff that he does. Disclaimer number three, I also know Nick who makes the science tam. So I know everybody. This is the one that I'm financially connected to, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. I really like the double-edged flange on the Barista Hustle Tamper. It's really cool. I didn't get any suction with it. I think it's like a really awesome design. It's similar to what's on the science tamp, but it's more pronounced. I'm not sure what the diameter is on the science tamp, but I think both of these are a little bit tinier than the big step. So this I know is a 58.4. I got no suction when using it, N nothing even close to suction. Since I've been using bigger tamps, I kind of take the tamp out of the portafilter a little more slowly, but even when I ripped this thing out, I didn't get any suction. The top of the tamp here is really comfortable on my hands and I used a lot of finger. I really thought that the weight was gonna bug me. It feels really light and I honestly didn't like that at first and I had a bad preconceived notion like, okay, this thing's gonna feel super Super weird and I know Matt's theory is that the lighter it is basically the more precise it is I get where he's coming from but sometimes I feel that something that's got a little bit more weight to it can kind of help steady your hand a little bit but honestly within five minutes I didn't even notice that it was lighter weight and I don't think the weight is a positive or a negative for me for what it's worth this tamper is quite a bit lighter than the other two in the lineup mine weighs 162 grams my big step weighs 358 grams and the science tamper is the heaviest of the bunch at 418 grams. I had to double check that one, forgot. The feel is pretty good. It's got some texture to it. It's not like toothy or anything, but I wish it was maybe a little bit more grippy. It's not slippery by any means, but even though this is perfectly smooth because it's powder coated, it actually sticks to my hand a little bit better. It's kind of just got a little bit more tension to it. It feels more secure. This one felt a little bit more loose and bobbly. Although I have to say that the other reason that this one felt more loose and bobbly and the reason that I can't ever integrate this into my daily workflow is that it's just too small for me. The handle is physically too short. It ends like here, I want it to come down to here. It's quite a bit shorter than the big step that I normally use and its handle is a lot smaller and it just felt like these two fingers right here are usually grabbing on something and it felt really 
empty for me. I think the design is great, but I think it's more suited to someone who has a little bit smaller hands than me. I found myself using pretty much all fingers, which isn't bad, I use a lot of my fingers anyway, but it's more of a feel thing. Obviously it doesn't impact performance, it's a tamper, but I felt like I was missing out on something with the grip. Pullman's got a pretty good feel. You can see it just takes up like more of my hand. It just occupies a little bit more of that. And the science tamper is just one girthy beast. This thing is huge. Huge! Look at that. This is almost like Gorilla Tamp style. I've never used a Gorilla Tamp. I think the Gorilla Tamp might be wider, but this is by far the beefiest tamp I have. I really like the way it feels. I don't know if I like the way it feels better than the Big Step or worse. I think it's just a different feeling. So I've been comparing these few tampers, and at the end of the day, I do have to say that this comparison is absolutely ridiculous. There's totally different thought processes that goes into each one of these. This is a $165 tamper. It's expensive. Expensive. And while it does physically the same thing as this, there's something nice about owning something like this. And not everybody will be this kind of person, but I'm a total gearhead. So one of the things that's really important for me when I have a tamper is one, how it feels, and two, the way it makes me feel. It's the tool that you use every day, day in and day out. And for me, I take a little bit of pride and ownership in having something that's nice like this. It's beefy, it's got rubber here, it's really soft on my fingers because I use a lot of finger, fits in my hand well, and it's just the awesome tool. I love having something like this. And for me, it's totally worth the $165. This is 40 bucks. The thing that I think Matt is really great at is approaching things from outside of the box and looking at stuff from a different angle. A lot of people are making things that are super fancy, crazy materials, up the ante. How much crazier can we get with something like this? And he just came in the whole other directions like, you know what? I'm gonna make something that's really functional, really affordable. Baristas don't make a ton of money, at least they don't in the US. It's hard to spend 165 bucks on a tamper. That is legit. So if you can get something that works pretty well for 40 bucks, no big deal. Also, the base by itself is $15. If you nick it, drop it, ding it, whatever, and you need a new one, 15 bucks, it comes to you. I feel bad for the science tamper because I'm kind of leaving him out. He is not a production tamper, even though I do love him a lot. So I'm kind of referring to the Pullman and the Barista Hessel tamper because this is kind of like a one-off thing. It's not a one-off, but it's a some-off. There's a story behind it. I will never be able to integrate this into my normal workflow just because it's too tiny. But I think where I will use this is as a really awesome travel tamper. It's light, it's relatively small. If you're going to SCAA, Global Specialty Coffee Expo, on a little trip and you don't wanna carry like this big old thing because it's really nice, it's gonna be rattling around in your backpack. You don't want it to get messed up if you're not gonna be doing a lot of serious bar work or some kind of residency, but you wanna be able to make coffee on the fly if you need to. I think this is awesome. I think that's how I'm gonna integrate this into my routine. This is gonna be my go-to travel tamper if I'm traveling light. So that's my barista hustle tamp wrap up. Again, I'm hesitant to say this is better, this is worse. Really what I wanna do is present information out there and you cats can make up your own decision on which road you wanna go because you know, different strokes. I will say I like this a lot more than I expected and I'm happy to support Matt because I think he's doing cool things in coffee. So definitely down to spend the 40 bucks and get this plus some gear guy so you know I gotta get the stuff I love my toys it's like affordable luxury for me you know I can do 40 bucks anyway all thanks for watching write in and let me know what Tampa you love the best I'd love to hear what y'all like and with that stay dialed y'all and I will catch you on the flip side peace Can you see it? I don't know how much shorter it is.